What's up, you cool cats and kittens? It's Chaz here. Happy Thursday. I'm driving down to Dallas, Texas. Actually, Frisco, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas. And actually, probably to this point, my favorite city in the state of Texas is Frisco. I love it there. I'm with Anna. Say what's up. She's deep in her phone. Um, so I'm like, well, might as well be deep in a video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to be driving down the highway with both hands on the wheel, I might as well take one off and make a video. Now, hey, I wanted to come on today and just say what's up. Happy Thursday. But I also wanted to pop in and give you just a little bit of encouragement to invest in yourself. And so today I'm titling this message to you, Student of the Month. And, uh, you know, I decided this year that I was going to invest financially, mentally, emotionally in myself. Uh, for growth, for growth in business, for growth in life, for growth spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and um, I mean, it's a, it's a journey, right? And so I have started to do that over the last few months in different areas. You know, some of you know, I'm, you know, six months into real estate and um, I've been in the personal development game, if you will, for, I guess, over five years now. I've learned so much along the way and I continue to learn each and every single day. Um, and I'll, as we're on our way to Dallas this weekend for our second year in a row to go to this event called Million Dollar Mastermind. And um, so many speakers. Last year, the event housed probably 400 guests, roughly. Uh, it was our first year there. There was, I think, about 14 or 15 speakers, two-day event. People like Sean Whalen, Ryan Steumann, uh Jesse Lee Ward, um, Stephen Weatherford, Keith Kraft, some incredible powerhouses, Dan Fleischman. Fleischman, uh, Billy, uh, I can't remember his name, last name now, Billy Jean, uh, this year, um, some of those same names as well as Ed Milet, uh, and several other, other huge name guests, right? And so this year it's three, it's 3000 guests. It's a big arena. It's three days long. Um, we get to hear like some rap artists as well. It's going to be really fun, but the point is the self-investment. The point is the willingness to be a student and always wanting and desiring an opportunity to learn and grow. And ironically, just a quick side note, I was thinking about, you know, am I going to bring my notebook? Which notebook am I going to bring to this event? And, it, you know, this is a sign of growth for me because of all the years I was in multi-level marketing and it's like it's drilled into you, like, bring your notebooks, bring your pens, you know. And uh, you can always tell different personalities. Some people would bring like different colored pens for their notebooks and highlighters. And I was the guy that always made sure I had, like I, I, I would always start a notebook and I would use that at every training event until I filled it. And then I'd start another one and I'd label the start date, you know, and I, and I have all those still. And I think those are great, great, great tools. However, this year, I've allowed myself to just take things in. And when I was thinking this morning, like, oh, am I going to take a notebook? I actually told myself, no, if you need to take notes, take notes in your phone. Otherwise, just be be present in the room. And actually, I learned a lot of that from Anna um, because I remember when we were actually in the same network marketing company and I, we would be in, in, the, in the company of, our, of each other at like events or even like online events and I'd notice she wouldn't be taking notes and I'd be like, as a leader in, in the company or in, in our team, I would think, gosh, why isn't she like taking notes? And it was really because she could absorb more by just being present. And sometimes I would be so caught up in the supposed to's, right? That I would just be so focused on that and not being present in the moment. And so I've, I've definitely made it a priority for myself to be present in the moment for this weekend. It's an investment financially, emotionally, and even spiritually um, to just be present in the moment of the weekend. And so again, always be a student and be willing to learn and grow. And I happen to be talking a lot about business right now, but for you, I just want to say, give yourself permission to be a student in anything. And, and, and I encourage you to think of the things that maybe you want to grow in. Um, I feel like I always talk back about podcasting because that's something that's really current in my life. Right. And I've talked about the beginning when in 2021, I, well, late 2020, I was like, I'm finally going to make a podcast. And I just decided to just do it, just push record and do it. And even though in the beginning, I'm not going to have any idea what I'm doing. I know that I'll figure it out as I go and I'll learn as I go. And even though episode one is going to be way different than episode 100, 
there'll never be an episode 100 if I don't just start with episode one. And some, some, sometimes you hear me refer to messy action. It's just simply being willing to do it and then be a student along the way, be willing to learn and grow. And so I refer back to the podcast thing because I'm just learning as I go and always willing to like watch a YouTube video and see how other people are doing things and not about, you know, trying to copy what other people do, but we have all these resources and tools right at our fingertips. So why not be a student of the others? People have paved the way and done things successfully in front of us. And most people you'll find are willing to share. So again, friends, just be willing to be a student, be open-minded, be open to learning and growing. And I encourage you to do that. I hope you have a great, fabulous, wonderful, incredible day. You are awesome. You're created with purpose on purpose. God loves you. So do I have an awesome day. Do you have anything you want to say? Perfect. Bye.